what's up? Happy Thursday. Welcome back to my channel. I have a really exciting project I'm working on and I want to take you along for the journey. I got commissioned to do a huge, massive painting for one of my friends. She's redoing her house and kind of freshening up her space. Uh, and I'm really excited and honored to be a part of that process. Um, this is something I'm so stoked for because as an artist, it's really just so amazing to be commissioned to do something so I can use my gift of creating something and uh, for someone else to enjoy and have in their life. So I feel really grateful. The size I'm going to be working with is a 40 by 60, which is massive, huge. Uh, it's bigger than anything I've ever painted before, but I'm totally up for the challenge. Uh, being an artist, I'm really used to always being challenged in different ways of you know creating something I'm not used to working in and I, I always learn from the journey and the process and I mean that can just be kind of a cool metaphor for life so it's really fun kind of putting what's in my mind and putting it out into the world and making it so I really enjoy it. So tag along for the journey I have uh, a sketch that I'm going to do, kind of a vague idea. Um, I'm getting my paints and it's just going to be some cool painting, ASMR, artsy vibes today. So I hope you guys are staying calm and healthy and enjoy my video. All right, thanks. So this is my sketch for my painting. It's going to have great variations and fading from blue into white. I might add some other details later on. The first thing that I have to do is I have to find my canvas. Um, since right now we're in a, <laughs> a quarantine, which is not funny, order that's in effect is shelter in place. So you can't means you can't leave your house unless it's uh, for like an essential need. Um, I mean, I can still like go for walks and stuff. But anyways, um, since the art store isn't open right now, which is kind of a bummer because normally I'd love going to the art store and picking out my paints and looking at the canvas and visualizing the whole thing. So I have to order everything online. So uh, for if you're an online vendor, you are in, uh, in good shape. <laughs> so the canvas is 40 by 60. It's crazy how expensive it is, but um, I really have no choice. And I mean, I could make my own canvas, but that also is just like so much harder. So some other things I need are, I think I need another paintbrush. Um, Cause the biggest one I have, <laughs> is like it's only like this big and that's not very big if i'm painting like a huge canvas i kind of need a bigger paintbrush so i probably need like an inch long or something like that um so i'm going to try to order all this stuff from amazon wish me luck that i can find everything i've never ordered all of my paints um just online like this because i'm always really used to going into the store and finding all the paints myself and kind of like, you know, holding colors up together and things like that and envisioning it all that way because it's a very, like, it's a visual process. So I think, I think I'll be okay. I mean, the blues are pretty basic. I know my colors pretty well. I hopefully have enough. Oh, fingers crossed. Awesome. It came way faster than I thought it was going to come and it's huge. It's just pretty much as big as I thought it was going to be. Um, 
as you can see, it's going to take up my entire living room. I'm not sure how, uh, where I'm going to set it up yet, but I'm really happy it's here. It's supposed to, I thought it was going to come at the end of the week. Um, it's only Wednesday. I was expecting it like Friday or Saturday. But the only downside is that none of my paints are here. So I have the canvas, which is great, um, but none of the paints are here. I was kind of hoping it would work out the other way around where I would get my paints first and then I could look at the colors and stuff and kind of like practice. But whatever, you know, you can't plan, plan for this stuff. So it's here. What do I do with it? <laughs> I guess first I'm gonna open it up and make sure it's not damaged because a lot of the reviews online said that their canvas arrived just really with flimsy packing material which like this doesn't look too bad honestly um, doesn't look too flimsy I mean it's not the best for sure but um, I'm just hoping that it will be all good all good and uh, yeah, I won't have to send it back, or maybe they refund me or something. But still, I need the, I need the canvas. So right off the bat, it looks pretty good, honestly. There is like one kind of scratch here, but the rest of it looks intact. It doesn't look bent. It looks pretty evenly stretched. Um, it came with all this extra paper material, which I'm totally going to keep because uh, painting can get messy. And then I'll totally keep the box too as like a floor protector. Um, so I think, I think we're good. I mean, I'm going to get it out of the box and then I'll be able to know for sure what the situation is, but I mean, this thing is like, seriously taking up my entire living room. <laughs> back of it is solid everything's in one place nothing's ripped or broken um, the front is really tight and um, it's pre gessoed which is perfect the only thing is like these little um, stopper things are supposed to be in here but they kind of fell but that's that's really minor <clears throat> this thing is super substantial though I'm pretty impressed with the size of it and like the strength. I wasn't expecting it to be like double in force like that. I don't know, um, but it's definitely a Masterpiece Pro. But yeah, overall looks good. Um, it's like the size of my dining table and the box is completely the size of my fridge. <laughs> so there we have it, small apartment painting. This is, this is what it looks like. All right, so my next step is to set up my easel and hope that it's strong enough to hold this thing. And if it's not, then I'm gonna have to think of other creative solutions to get it up. Because when you paint something, you can't just paint with it down. You have to like have it up in front of you and you have to get distance from it. So that way you can um, see what it'll look like from far away. Because when you're, you know, when you hang artwork and when it's in someone's house, you're not looking at it like from this close when you're painting. So you have to have the distance um, so you can see what it'll actually look like. So that's the tricky thing, because this thing is so big, I'm gonna have to get 
a lot of distance from it and having a small apartment it's a little bit tricky but I have room outside and it's always beautiful here so I think I think I can figure out but hopefully the easel works so I actually got this thing um, as a gift like when I was in college my ex-boyfriend actually bought it for me which was a really nice gift um, so these are the pieces that are hold up the canvas um, really great little easel. These things. Yeah, I'm really, that's crazy. I haven't used this thing in like years. It's dusty. <laughs> but this is a great gift, man. I've honestly used it a lot, so thanks, bro. So it basically sets up with this. It's a little tripod. Um, it's kind of slippery on my floor, which is funny. But I'm pretty sure this way is tighten all this. All right, so it's definitely not gonna be big enough, but let's try. Then I have these pieces, which I don't know if you can see. This goes on the bottom. And then this goes on the top of the canvas, on that long rod thing. Oh, it's raining. Um, to hold it in place. I don't know if this is exactly going to work, though. Now is the moment of truth. Uh, trying to see if it's going to fit. Which I feel like it won't. Yeah, it's definitely not going to I mean, that's like crazy flimsy, but honestly, I'm happy it's up. Like, I mean, I don't know if I could paint on it like super securely, but I feel like maybe if I tape up the legs on the floor so it doesn't like slide out, um, it may actually work, which would be really great because this is kind of a perfect painting spot. And it'll be my project for the next week. <laughs> it's crazy. Hello, so the day has finally come that I am finally gonna start painting the giant canvas. Um, right now what I'm doing is just laying some plastic and paper down on my floors and to protect my furniture. All this material basically came from the box that the canvas came in, so I'm just reusing all those materials, which I think is great because I'm always in support of sustainability and reusing stuff. Um, so acrylic paint too, once it dries and if there's like a splatter somewhere on my floor or on one of my pieces of furniture once it dries it's like basically like a dried plastic so it's really hard to get off and I mean you can but it's sometimes you can't even get it off so I'm just protecting my furniture and then I'm actually going to do some test runs of just kind of figuring out what colors are going to work best together like the combination so the sketch that I did before was um, I had kind of like my darks going up, dark starting here, and then going their way up to the lighter colors, but that was with colored pencils. Since I'm now working with all these different paints, 
I kind of want to figure out what their best combination is on a separate piece of paper before I actually dive into the canvas because this is a you know a big thing I want to do it right I don't want to just mess it up and to go over it. and I have a limited amount of paint too which I think will be just enough but anyways it's always good to practice and prepare before you do stuff I'm gonna add some, I think some turquoise colors, kind of like in here, and bring the whites down and blend the blues together more so it looks more even and cohesive. But so far it's going really well and I'm excited. I'm also gonna turn it around like upside down and paint the other way to kind of change the way I look at it and make it sure it's all balanced and even. So just gonna start painting. canvas so yesterday I added a lot more whites and took out some of the dark colors and made the whole thing a lot brighter which is looking nice but now I think I need to go back and add in a little bit of contrast kind of on the bottom and then just do a lot of the detail work um, so it makes it all kind of pop and come together <laughs> I think this is actually going to be one of my last days working on it. I mean, I think this will be my last day working on it. Tomorrow is Thursday and I need to upload this video and uh, be done with it. So overall, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I mean, 
It's pretty freak freaking sweet. I honestly kind of want to keep this myself, which means I did what I set out to do. Because when I want to keep my own art, that means uh, I like it. And if I, I mean, if I like it, then that's what's good. That's freaking sweet. Um, there's not too much more I have to do. I think I'm just gonna go in and add a little bit more of the whites, make it a little bit more defined and kind of clean up this area a little bit because I think it still needs like a little bit more whites and stuff. Um, but I'm super happy with the way it turned out overall. I wanted to give a special shout out to this color. This freaking permanent blue light was like so sick and kind of brought it all together. So overall, I mean, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I'm so grateful I got to do this. This is the final, final day of working on it, which is, you know, the day has come. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. It's been really fun. So yeah, let's get to it. done. I painted this thing. It's finished. It's ready. I can model with it and take pictures. I'm freaking, I'm done. I did it. I feel so accomplished. What's left right now is I have to varnish it and put some hardware stuff on the back, but that's honestly pretty boring and I'm going to do that off camera. I need to let this thing dry for a good couple days before I do a varnish coat on it. Varnish just makes it all really shiny and beautiful. It's been a crazy freaking journey doing this thing and honestly I mean I'm really grateful to have had the opportunity especially during this time where everyone's just sitting home and doing nothing but I love the colors and the way that they all blended. I love the color palette and I just I'm really happy with the way it turned out and it feels really good to be freaking done. Finally move on with my life. Just kidding. It feels good being done. I'm gonna keep making fun art during this time and hopefully go somewhere with this. I think I'm gonna do a Twitch stream at some point too once I figure out how all that stuff works. So anyways, see you guys next week. All right, bye. If you have a piece of art that you would like made for you, I'd be more than happy to make some art for you. Um, I have experience in literally all mediums from painting to drawing to photography to sculpture. I've done all types of stuff. I have a website which I'll link down below um, so you guys can check it out. So if you'd like to please support me during this time of not working, um, I'd love to make more art and video and do all this stuff. So please like and subscribe. I have videos every week um, coming up so be doing art all the time to keep myself busy and it's, it's also really fun it feeds my soul so i gotta do things that take care of me now and you do things that take care of you so that's all thanks so much see you guys next week bye